Hello everyone, Spencer here, and today I will be explaining how to accurately test space builds, abilities, or whatever you want for Star Trek Online on PC, utilizing a test map created by former STO Systems developer Jet Levins, whom many of you will know better by the name Cryptic Spartan. This test map is exclusive to the Tribble test server on PC, so there are a few things that you will need to do before you can copy your character over. The first thing you'll want to do is make sure you have everything you want to test already on your character. On the Tribble test server, you will not have access to the C-Store, your account bank, your mail, or any fleet stores. Fleets do exist on Tribble, but very few people log in over there, so getting an invite to one of the existing ones is going to be extremely difficult unless you're able to coordinate it ahead of time. So I would say to just go in under the assumption that you're not going to have any fleet access over on Tribble. And one additional thing that I should note before we go further is that your Endeavor perk points will not transfer over to the Tribble test server, and as far as I am aware, there is no way to easily grind them out over on the test server like you can for other items. So when comparing data to PC, keep in mind that you are not going to have the bonuses from the Endeavor system nor will you likely have the bonus from the fleet combat boost. Now, once you have your character ready to go, you'll want to head over to the ARC website and sign in. Once you've signed in, you'll want to hit your name up at the top right and hit the little My Profile button that'll pop up right under that. Once you're on the My Profile page, scroll down and under the My Games category, you'll see a button named Character Transfer Page. Hit that and register for the test server if you haven't already. And then once you can copy a character over, copy over the character you want to copy over and select the Tribble test server. Next up, you'll want to go and open your STO launcher. And at the bottom left, you're going to see that there is now two options. You're going to have Holodeck, which is the main server, and then you're going to have Tribble. Select Tribble and give it a few minutes. It will clone over the files from the main server and download any additional files that it needs. Now that you're actually on the Tribble test server, what you're going to want to do now is head over to the Drozana system and beam down to Drozana. On Drozana, there is a special test console that you can see the location of currently on the screen, and it features a variety of items in it. It will give you a bunch of reputation marks, EC, Dilithium, whatever you need. If you need to get that character up to T6 reps to help with your testing, then you can easily do that as all reputation and fleet projects take like 10 seconds to complete on the Tribble test server. At this console, you will also see an option for a space test map, and that is where you're going to want to head into if you want to do the testing that this video is about. Now this bit here is going to be a bit of a live recording, so uh, hopefully I can just explain everything thoroughly enough here. Uh, one thing to note before you go into a map is that all of your stations, your traits, and everything will be reset before you go in. And you just need to keep that in mind. And the build I'm going to be taking in here just to demonstrate this, as you can probably tell, is from a very, very long time ago. This build is... that This character was copied over many many years ago before before even the temporal rep came out so th this character is basically from the days of the feedback pulse meta before season 13 but you can always delete characters and just copy them back over from the main server as you need so let's head into the space map wait for it to load This, this load might take a little bit, so I'm going to edit out the wait time and just skip us in. Okay, about a minute later. Finally in. So this is the Starbase 234 map, but it is configured much different from uh, the normal Starbase 234. It has an interactive inter interface here that will let you choose what type of enemies you're going up against, things like that. So if you're wanting to test things consistently, um, but well, you, you can choose who you want to shoot against. Uh, like the map difficulty, 
you can, there's a few different scenarios here. You can just do test dummies, which is what you'd probably want to do for testing scenarios because you can set it so they can't die. Uh, whereas some of these other ones, like the, the difficult combat encounter, you know, this, this is just going to spawn in a variety of enemies. It's like you can just go in, spawn and despawn things as needed, change the difficulty, change who you're going against things like that. But uh, what I want to do here is set the active combat scenario as spawn test dummies. And you see there's a test dummy next to me. You can enable its shields, its weapons, its mobility. Uh, there's even a built-in parser here, but I would still recommend that you go and type in slash combat log one and just parse things yourself. Now, keep in mind uh, with your parser, you're going to need to redirect it. So you, you see here how it's going to Star Trek Online live. You would need to set it from the live server to the test server folder. Uh, so browse Star Trek Online. Yeah, the, instead of the live server, it's going to be playtest. Then it's going to be under logs, game client, combat log. So you just redirect it to that one. And my file here is like 300 megabytes, so it's going to take a minute. Uh, but in the meantime, I'm just going to go back to the game. You see how you can enable shields on the target. Right now it has no shields. You can enable shields. You can disable shields. You want it to fire weapons. You can do that. Though if you're just testing things, I'd probably just leave the their weapons off and leave them in mobile. If you want to change the number of enemies, you can set it to go up to five. And you can also just, you know, knock it back down to like two or whatever. It, this gives you a lot of options. And if you want to like test single target builds, you can test against a single target. If you want to test AOE against five targets, you can do that. Um, so let's set it back to five. And like, I've got... Let me see if the SCM has processed that file yet. Oh, that one's taking a bit to process there. Okay. When your combat log file gets a bit too big, it, it can take a while. But your keybinds may have also reset, so take some time to figure things out. You, you can position yourself however you want. You can then just, you know, go in, start spamming and firing at them, things like that. Uh, let's hit the start parsing button here. So the game is supposedly parsing and we'll see what the results are. Okay. And when you stop the parse, then it'll in game, it'll give you just really basic information. Uh, and like I said, that this build I'm going in here is like four or five years old at this point, so it's not going to do too great. SCM still has not processed that combat log file. I really should clear that one out. Uh, but you can just see the point here of how you can just change things and like just test. You can turn their mobility on and they can start moving. You could group them all up with a grab well if you wanted doing this. Then just disable their mobility if you wanted to just stay stationary again. Uh, you can despawn them. Respawn them. You know, lot, lots of things you can do here. And hopefully you, you can see how this could be valuable for if you're wanting to test different types of builds. Because you can just sit in here and just shoot these things for you know, however long you want and gather data then to do another test with a slightly different config and, you know, get data on that. Like if you want to test, say, one warp core versus the other, you, you could do that easily in this. Or if you want to test hanger pets and just see how they perform without worrying about them dying, things like that. But that is it for this, really. I, I imagine there's going to be some questions or comments, so feel free to Leave them down below and I'll try to get back to you as soon as possible. Hopefully this video has been helpful and I hope to see some people using this map to actually test things because...
people have asked for stationary test dummies like this for a very long time, and they've been on Tribble for like a year or two now. Uh, so I, I know I haven't been playing in that time, but it's it still makes me a bit sad to see that we've actually got this testing option in here now, and nobody's been using it. But yeah, that's it for today. Thank you all for stopping by, and see you all again in the very near, near future. I've got some videos I'm going to be working on that will hopefully be interesting to some people.